Man, I just committed a sin. 4 a.m. I got a brand new 20 ounce Red Bull I just opened up because I'm like, all right, I can't go back to sleep. Let me just start getting this day started. So I bring it inside the tent because, well, all the ticks and I spilt the whole thing inside the tent. Oh, man, I'm about to, is it, would it be, if I didn't piss in the tent numerous times, I would be down there sucking up this, look at that. Oh, that's not piss, that's Red Bull. I should be down there, and I'm using my clean underwear and my thing trying to clean it up, because this is going to be a sticky mess. Oh, this is... <laughs> now I have to go to the store at 6 a.m. and venture out into this tickville and the rain and go get another one. Because um, that's not going to happen. I'm going to sit in my tent for an hour or two and enjoy a Red Bull before I do anything this morning. All this because of the ticks. I would never bring a Red Bull into my tent. I am not a dummy. Well, I guess I am a dummy because I literally put it there in the corner. I'm like, oh, it stands here perfect. No problem. i got plenty of room. And then I moved to go get my fanny pack. And I heard like a thump, like a thump. And I'm like, doo -doo -doo -doo. and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, Red Bull. Yeah. And it didn't like just pour a little. It poured the can laid on its side until it was level. Like no more was coming out basically. My hands are so sticky now, I can't get them clean with just hand sanitizer. It's, uh, it's quite actually a horrible feeling. <laughs> and my tent smells like a... Well, it's like you think it would. It smells like sweet cough syrup in here now from the freaking Red Bull. Well, it's 5.30. And uh, I would say the day went relatively as good as it can go for my mat to keep going flat. But it's holding up just long enough now. But I know the next stage is it just goes. So, I'm hoping I get a couple more days out of this. But then I just came down here just to check to get check on my sleeping bag. For, and then I had a, literally a puddle down here. I don't know where it's coming in at. Alright, good morning guys. It's uh, Saturday, March 23rd. And it's like 7.30 in the morning. Um, I am a sticky, filthy mess. I've been in this tent for, what, a day and a half. Um... Um, we're gonna get up here in a little bit. My mat is uh, losing air, but it kind of stops right here. So I bottom out relatively easy. But when I'm just laying on it, I don't bottom out. But it's not, it's not very firm like I like it. So, but I'm counting my blessings that it holds up like this. Um, we're gonna uh, get everything's wet. I told you yesterday. I haven't had any more issues. It didn't really rain that much more. Small little uh, spouts here and there, but everything is wet. I mean, everything. My bag is damp at best, but my battery bag is pretty wet. Um, I'm on my last uh, battery bank. So today's plan is now to get up, pack up all this filthy wetness. We're going to have storms on and off all day today, at least a chance. But it looks like the heavy stuff ain't going to come till this afternoon. Um, so probably when we're walking back, or maybe I'll be in the library. I don't know what the plan is to hit Walmart, stock up, and then go to the library, spend a couple hours there. I got to get some power all right 20 after 8 and we are leaving our little camp spot well wow, a lot more people pulled up to go uh canoeing and i never even heard them it's like someone got here late all right well today's plans might have just changed yet again because I'm uh, three miles in, and Walmart's only two more miles from here. But from the library is still six and a half more miles from where I'm at. So I don't think I'm going to make it to the library and back out. That ain't. I don't think that's going to happen. But I need power, so I've got to figure something out. I passed the church that's closed down. Maybe that has an outlet on it that's still working. If not, I'm going to be asking the guy at the... Uh, store unless I run into something else because I don't think I'm going to I mean I had to do another four miles I mean that's going to get ridiculous alright 9.50 I'm four and a half miles in I just passed the rest stop I, of course I stuffed my face with a piece of Hunt's Brother pizza Walmart should be coming up there's a couple places to get power in that nice ass uh, rest stop but 
when I was there, I watched them kick two, like, homeless people out, so... I'm assuming homeless. There are two people that look like they're hitchhiking now, but... So... I don't think it's ideal for me to get power there. Alright, I went with the double big bottle and this, because I'm going to be out here for another week. So I don't have to get it, I just got to carry it, that's the only issue. But, oh well. They don't have spam singles here. Can you believe it? This oatmeal is cheap. Oops. Yeah, blah, blah. I'll show you guys later. I don't know what I keep doing this for. All right, 11.20, guys. Working my way back. Just on the opposite side of the road now. Like I said, I didn't even try to get power in town. My pack is heavy. I don't know what I was thinking in my head. Like, I don't... I was thinking... I know what I was thinking. Like, I only got 36 miles to go before I'm... I'm basically done hiking this section. But I still had to get six days worth of food. So six, you know. So I got oatmeal for breakfast. I got like, you know, them chicken tuna sides for lunch with a tortilla. And then dinner I got uh, one mashed potatoes and the rest is soups. But I got like a pickle I can put in there. I got bacon bits. I got cheese squeeze. <laughs> Um, I got a thing of Cliff Bar, so I can have one Cliff Bar a day, peanut butter bites, and uh, some beef and cheddar at stick snack. Alright, 12.30 guys. I'm approaching uh, 10 miles, my round trip. Alright, 2 o'clock guys. I've been trying to dry my gear out out here for like the last hour or so. I put it out. Drizzle, it starts drizzling in 5 minutes later. I got to bring it back in and pile it up there. And then it's been back and forth. But it looks like I should be good now. To get this stuff dry. The next little group of showers ain't going to come until around 5. So hopefully I'm out here by 3. I decided with the last money I had. Instead of uh, getting a Red Bull for the road tomorrow or whatever. I have one for tomorrow morning. But I got a... Oh, it's, I hear thunder. I got a couple of these Voodoo Rangers, which are 7%, and two Bud Lights. So I got four Tall Boys. So that's uh, eight regular drinks, except the Voodoo Rangers. I'm, I drank the first Voodoo Ranger, and I feel buzzed already. <laughs> and then I'm fighting with this stuff right here. All right, good morning, guys. I don't know if I told you already, but it's uh, Sunday, March 24th. It's uh, 0600. I've literally been camping. Well, you guys know where I've been camping after the last... What I do? Three nights there? Literally maybe 50 yards into the woods from this road. But this road is dead. This one you can hear, obviously hear. You can hear the music last night was going till 1 a.m. Um, I've been up since like steady with no going back to sleep since I think like 2.15, 2.30, somewhere around there. That drinking, man, just made me feel like crap last night. And then my mat is uh, definitely lower than it was. I was actually bottoming out, touching the ground, and you, it, there was still air in it. But so I, I knew that's the that's the cycle. And eventually, here, if it holds true to form, which this is my fourth mat, I believe, my fourth Nemo tensor. And uh, if it holds true, it'll be completely flat here in a day or so. It won't hold any air at all. All right, unfortunately, this uh, high-powered one or high-wattage one from Apple, I think it's too much power because they all act different, the lights. Like, this, see how this is going? One, two, three, four. When it's got that one, it just goes one, two, one, two, one, two. It doesn't go all the way up. And then the dots on the single power banks are, like, flashing very sporadically, like, different. So I'm thinking maybe it's too much power. I, I don't want to take the chance. So um, I got to use the USB. So gonna take much longer obviously to get power but at least i know i'm getting power and it's not damaging something i'll figure it out later but all right guys 8 35 and i'm on the move that's a good stop they don't have much for you could definitely resupply for a couple days candy they do got soups i mean it's expensive obviously but if you only need a couple i mean you could really resupply. if you had money you could resupply there for a week but they don't have like you know uh, a lot of hiker stuff it's more just snacks and odds and ends but you can definitely do it if you want to save yourself the 11 mile round trip to walmart and back nice little spot over there just 
turned the corner and like came face to face with a northbound hiker. We both, uh, young girl, scared the crap out of both of us. <laughs> I'm about to run out of a uh, chapstick. How many, how much chapstick does everybody use a month? I feel like I go through a tube a month and I don't get, I prefer a stick, but I can't have a stick out here because it'll melt. Even if it's in my fanny pack, just from the heat, you know, the sun, obviously. But if I keep it in my chest pocket or whatever, it definitely melts. So I got to get the, uh, I get the Carmex, you know, little squeezy tube. And uh, it's about, I mean, it's almost gone. I can't believe it. Like, I go through that. I feel like that's a lot. But I'm always, like, jamming it on my nose. Because my nose is usually running. So I get, like, a little, it gets irritated right there. I use it a lot, especially when I'm walking and I'm like struggling I don't know I'm like oh yeah I need chopstick Ooh, we got a little uh like mountain activity kind of we got to cross a log down there even though the creek's dead downhill and uphill a little gully nice let's see if I can navigate this without falling I'm surprised that uh, there's no water in that uh, creek or the gully or whatever it is because the trail's been uh, flooded in a couple spots already from the rain we got we got like a half inch over a day and a half. Nice little section. The old man's beard and the river. Too bad I'm talking. Some real nice sections back here. These little like, uh, like honeysuckle kind of flowers, but they're pink. Don't know what they are, but they're nice. Little stream next to it. I'm glad this log was here because, believe it or not, this is almost as deep as my uh, hiking poles. I mean, that was crazy deep, and I didn't even touch the bottom. I just was like, "Whoa, that's enough." So it might be more than my hiking pole. spot some canoes kayakers Alright guys, I'm uh, 3.09 miles in, been hiking for an hour 30, moving to 2.4. Um, I don't know what them like pink honeysuckle looking flowers are, but they smell incredible when you walk through an area with them. So fragrant. Some very, very beautiful sections today. Look at this, this is uh, literally not my favorite to walk through. Just tick, 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 tick. Find the trail. There we go. Man, this whatever this is is disgusting. It stinks. You would you want to think this is deep? My foot, both both my shoes are not to my ankle. Oh, it's. Oh man, that is strong. I don't know what what's in there, but. It's horrible. Oh. Tell you what, my one foot is uh, like a little tingle, a little burn to it now. It's a house right up there. I wonder if that's some kind of waste runoff or something from them. It could be, <clears throat> it could be pesticide runoff from the uh, tree farm that's right next door to it. I don't know what that was, but that had a distinct and foul, foul odor. I'm going to get my feet wet on purpose and stick them in here. Try to rinse whatever some of this funk was off of there. 
Uh, actually, I'm going to fall. Let me put this away. All right, 12.35. Nice little brake spot. Dried out my gear. Dried my foot a little bit. Readjusted my socks and all that crap. Resprayed another application of bug spray. Ate a little bit. I'm on the move. I'm uh, 4.48 miles in. Been hiking for 2 hours and 32 minutes. Moving at a blistering 2.1 miles per hour. Alright, 140. I've gone 6.21. I'm probably done for a day, but look where I'm thinking about camping. That might work out. On the beach. Although, it'd be a little difficult to do. Uh, my tent might not be able to. It might be real sturdy. Let's see what kind of sand it is. I might be able to get right here. No, that's definitely too, too unlevel. Oh. Alright, it's 340. I'm, uh, I was just up here chilling. Just literally laying on the, uh, just laying on the sand here, sitting on my little sit mat. And I thought I saw a bug, and it kind of looked like a tick crawl in between my shirt here, which it still could have, it could be up my, it could be anywhere. <laughs> but uh, I sprayed myself down again. Anyway, I found four tiny baby, baby ticks so far, just putting my tent up. Like they were on my tent, so it's definitely on this ground right here, obviously. Had to, uh, it's crazy, man. You just can't win with these. They're everywhere. These are tiny little things, hard to see. So it makes me want to get in my tent. Where'd he go? I forget already. I just had a little baby one crawling. Oh man, I completely lost them already. It's a tiny little thing. Damn it, I was just looking at it on my tent. There it is. Look how small this guy is. See him? Yeah, that was definitely what I thought was a uh, like a blood sucker. Is that a tick? Yeah, that's definitely a little baby tick. Sorry, I might have been showing it to you, I don't think anymore. Yeah, so that's definitely one of them was definitely crawling on me and he went in here because it that that uh, I just took my shirt off and tried to take pictures of like all over my back my back is so broken out and got rashes all over it It's like impossible to tell like just just red and pimples and crap everywhere oh, The hiking life All right, so I actually think now the one, a couple of things, the thing I might have seen on me might have been a chigger because the more I look at it, because uh, I just found a red smear on my uh, backside of my pants. And uh, so I, I think I killed one of them little tiny like red ones that I thought was like a bloodsucker thing. I didn't know chiggers. I thought chiggers were black, but anyway so maybe a couple of these things are chiggers i know two of the little things i've seen are ticks but they're very closely related so i'm just trying to convince myself that they're chiggers now and because they don't carry any disease so i can let them bite me <laughs> but so maybe that because i definitely have a red couple red smears so i definitely killed a couple of them somewhere along the line here anyway that's what's going on i'm going nuts literally over bugs big tough marine all right, guys, tonight's dinner. I was trying to make, like, a fancy tent-side cooking with Chris, but it's hard to fit everything in a minute. I don't feel like piecing it up and having to build a, a whole video, basically, just to post a short. It's, but it's hard to keep everything under a minute. But here's what I'm eating tonight. So I got ramen noodles. I, lit, I broke them up. I let them soak. I got crushed red peppers, squeezed cheese, bacon bits, pickle, seasoned packet, hot sauce, and I'm going to mix all that up here and uh, get to it. Oh, and uh, chicken and fajita sauce. So there's a lot in these ramen noodles. All right, of course the wind is picked up now and I'm camping on, you guessed it, sand. So I'm, it's whipping around sand and I'm covered in sand and uh, bug spray. As you can see, lots of sand in here already. So that's not gonna be good if it stays windy. <laughs> it's always something. And my mat obviously is uh, deflating on me. But I don't see any ticks in here, so that's good. All right, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Monday, September 25th. I mean, September, geez, March 25th. And it's at uh, 7.40 a.m. 
I've already been up. I ate breakfast. I'm already on the Red Bull. I've already made a couple posts. I had a cooking one did quite good yesterday. Well, I got like a thousand. I gained some followers. That's all I'm saying. Um, anyway, I slept incredible. I blew my mat up by, I think, three times last night. Other than that, I was sleeping. Usual stuff, but I got a good night's sleep. It was quiet. The wind actually settled down. I had to put this up to block the wind. There's so much sand in here from earlier, but the wind finally did settle down. But at least it got cool enough to where I could just keep the covers over me. And that way the sand wasn't whipping me. Um, so that was a plus. Um, everything is almost dry. My bag's a little wet from me breathing on it. But otherwise, the tent's drying off in the wind. Just a lot of sand. <laughs> All right, 9.15, guys. I got my stuff everywhere. It's amazing. All of a sudden, you just don't worry about the ticks. Because you just got to get stuff done. So I'm soaked down. I forgot. This is the reason why I don't get these small bottles 100% deep. The sprayer never works right. Like the sprayer's already just spraying a direct beam and it's almost empty now because it's coming out a direct beam instead of misting it. I remember that now from my Hug Cross America when I got them 100% uh, deep bottles that the sprayer never works correctly on them. Man, I just walked, another hiker just came by. Literally, look at me. I got my socks pulled up. That way I can spray heavy deed on them without damaging the, the tights. The only thing I'm doing that's open is I got my sleeves rolled up, but I have to, it's just so hot. But I got my arms sprayed with DEET and off. Oh, phew, these spider webs driving me nuts already. And then these, you know, I call them hippies. But, you know, I mean, young kids without a care in the world come walking by hiking in sandals, big dick energy shorts, and a tank top with long hair, not a care in the world. And they probably won't have a tick on them. It's weird because this seems like, you know, I'm high up, especially since I just walked up a hill. But I've already been on the highest point in Florida like 400 miles ago. Obviously, I understand it's all relative to the sea level, but it just gives you the feeling, especially since I just walked up a steep hill, that I'm uh, much higher now than I was on that place in Eglin Air Force Base with that sign when I was walking on a flat road. Such a nice area, but I know from experience that this is where the ticks are. It's funny, I've been posting this stuff on, if you follow along on my Instagram, Adventures with the Crazy Vet, all one word, no spaces. Um, I talked about the ticks this morning when I was in my tent. And people hate ticks just like me, so I don't feel bad about, well, not that I felt bad, but I know I overreact maybe a little bit. Not really, I mean, that's how, I mean, these little things carry serious diseases. He just sat down for a minute. Another tick. Although he looks like he's dying from the poison because I just tried to move him. He's just kind of struggling. So here I am just walking, thinking about ticks, looking at my legs, and I almost step right on this guy. Now, I don't know what kind of snake that is. It's not a rattler. But it, I'm like shaking right now. It was shot adrenaline through my body. And it's not even particularly big, but... Oh, it is a rattlesnake. Look, I see the rattle on his tip. Why isn't he rattling right now? It is a rattlesnake, though. I, I can't zoom in anymore. Uh, I'm already... Hold on, let me train that. Uh, whatever. It's definitely a rattlesnake, though. Here we go. See that? Oh, man. Why isn't he rattling? Now he's rattling. All right, so I went around them. And now I have a hole in my tick defense. So lovely. So now I gotta worry about that. Tell me why now as I'm walking, every stick I see, I'm literally jumping. Cause I think it's a snake. Uh, so I just soaked it down 100% deep. Got, put the nozzle in my leg and got a little on my skin. So, but of course that deed also makes this area extra weak because I'm telling you it eats through that uh, spandex crap man I am jumpy a coyote just ran across the trail and it scared the crap out of me I just heard like a squeak too and I looked around I was like what was that and it was it was probably a coyote making some type of noise that it was god damn I'm jumpy now oh look another Florida waterfall
Oh, now I know why I've been here in traffic for the last couple miles. My watch is dead, by the way, so. We're gonna die right around five miles, I think, or something like that. Oh boy, I gotta climb this, lovely. My, my fatness is falling. Especially as I have my phone plugged in and a cable dripping down to my fanny pack. I know it doesn't do it justice, but that was steep. <sighs> What's this? Oh, just trash. I'm thinking about camping right here now. I mean, it's not going to be, you know, we've got the noise from the thing, but that don't bother me. That actually helps me. Looks like a deer got hit on the highway and it's been here for quite some time. Um, yeah, I think about, now the beer cans kind of throw me off here because I mean someone's come back here recently, or semi-recently. But yeah, I think I'm going to camp right here because I'm looking at my map in like eight miles tomorrow, like I've done an eight mile day in a little while, but anyway, in eight miles I can be in White Springs so I can hit a store, get a Red Bull, and there's also a campground right before White, uh, White Springs where I could, uh, like where I stayed at before, I have electricity and water. So I think that might be the goal is to get there tomorrow. All right, so I like this spot because it should have less ticks in theory because there's not a whole ton of uh, dolphin crap. Not perfect, but it'll work. Cleaned off a little area. I have not seen a tick yet, but I don't want to jinx myself. God, that hurts my knee right here. That side motion. That's when you look for ticks now. This is when they start popping out right after you clean the area. I'll come back in a minute. Although I do have like stuff falling over my head. I'm telling you, I think ticks are adapting and they're getting up in trees and dropping on us as we walk by. So this is obviously a road here. So I'm gonna just walk this down, make sure before I set up camp there. I just wanna see where this goes because obviously people have been back here. All right, so trail goes that way. But this road continues this way. So this is what I'm wearing. Because I can definitely see there's like an opening over there. Something's going on up here. But I don't see nothing on my maps. Like a business or anything. Alright, this is as far as I'm walking. we have got some old remnants of fencing. Power lines. So, and I see electrical lines up there. So maybe someone's up there somewhere. But I should be fine. All right, the pickle that I had left leaked everywhere in here, even though I had it in a bag, so I'm not even going to save it for tonight. There's my snack for right now. Cheese-wrapped pickle, and I'll tell you, this is, come on, this is going to be incredible. Ha-ha! <laughs> all right, I drank all the pickle juice, but I guess the weight, obviously, the pickle has juice, so it squirted it out. Look, my, my, anything that was below my cook, my food bag, look at all that stuff in there. How can you see? I got a lot of pickles, not a lot, but... You can't really see. It's pickle juice down there. <laughs> All right, guys, dinner time. Double meat soup sandwich. Layer of pepperoni, couple scoops of ramen that's already cooked, bacon bits, cheese squeeze, hot sauce packet, and obviously sprinkle with the season packet. Let's get to this. All right, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Tuesday, March 26th, and it's 7.15, and... Yeah, so the road noise wasn't a problem last night, but they did construction all there last night. So the road was, I don't know if it was closed or what, but so much construction. You could actually hear the people talking. It was so close. So that was bothersome. So whenever I was awake, which was often, I had trouble falling back to sleep. Anyway. So looking at the weather... One to two inches of rain is expected tomorrow. So that is a heavy rain day for Florida and it's going to flood everything. So, but I'm basically done this section anyway. So, yeah, I just need to camp. So camping might be an issue. Whatever. But I got to get to the, so maybe what I'm thinking is maybe I don't get into the state park tonight. I go tomorrow. That way I can have a, I can be on the state park while it's raining. Hopefully they have good drainage and everything. But I need power. And I'm going today. We'll see what happens. Blah, 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 blah. I really got to get up and get moving. It's going to be 80, almost 85 today. Like 84 with almost 100% humidity as usual. So it's going to get hot. Like I feel it already. I'm sticky. 
man. So I need to get moving. Tomorrow, one to two inches of rain with a po high possibility of hail. So let's look at this. This looks delicious. I might not. I might have to eat this now. I love when you get that cheese squeeze in there. If I had a mayonnaise to top this off now, it would be perfect. Oh. Let them expand just a little bit. Obviously, I'm going to let them expand a lot. Oh, yeah, they're still hard. But the longer these will soak, all that water will disappear, and the noodles will get bigger, and all that cheese will just suck up into the noodle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, 9 o'clock, guys. On the move. Pack feels nice and light because I only got uh, about... 15 ounces of the water in here and then a liter and a half on the one side um we got about eight miles to go to get the white springs and then once i'm in white springs i'm gonna hit up a store because i got a couple ducats you know i'm going to get me a red bull for tomorrow and probably one for today and then uh, maybe a couple snackers can of chew or two and then we're gonna hike the uh mile or two until uh into the park and hopefully get a camp spot where i can get electricity Hey, there's another trail going that way. Oh, that's a blue mark trail. I was going to say, something's back here because there's an awful lot of trash in this whole area. I mean, not an awful lot, but there's a, a good amount. Oh, yeah, you can see this, is, this creek has been much higher. Oh, wow. I should take that. That's a shame. Somebody was fishing. I should carry that with me and fish, man. At least for these couple days. This is beautiful. These socks, man. These bother me so much that they're loose. Oh, I thought that was a bug. It's a hole in my thing. It's so loose, they keep dripping down. It looks like I'm wearing leggings, man. Ugh. You know, they got them straps you wear, I guess, for like when you pull a muscle. It just basically looks like a strap that goes around your calf. Maybe I put one on each side here. Pull out my socks. Or I can get some tape and tape them. I can get uh, maybe scrunchies. <laughs> or I could strip this up into bands and tie it. I just, I don't like how I get droopy. I mean, I already look dumb, but. So now on the list is $200 for a pair of shoes. Check. $200 for a new sleeping mat. Check. And then I got to get, what, two new pairs of socks. So that's, we'll call 50 bucks. New tights, 25 bucks. New t-shirt, 25 bucks. I'll probably grab an extra pair of shorts or something from like the dollar store just so I could put something else on once in a while. Because I'm going to be wearing tights now. <sighs> that cook video that was that, you know, mini blowing up for my channel. It ended up at stalling right around that. Uh, almost 10,000 views. I think 9697. Gained me 30 subscribers from that short. I mean, that's definitely my best. Now I've had. 15 or 20 subscribers off of uh, three or four thousand views so that's probably my best percentage one uh, when I was going through the fl uh, swamp but 30 subscribers is the most I've ever gained from a video well no because my uh, train video gained me more subscribers but for shorts so I'm very happy with that so I tried to you know ride the uh, train right you know the, of the hype so I put out another cook video I messed it up and I had to do it, you know, just like an abbreviated one. Anyway, it's got like 60 views <laughs> of my double meat sandwich. But I like the 10 side cooking with Chris. We're going to uh, try to do that. It's all going to be nonsense, obviously, but this is my sock now. It's just, uh, it's going to, I do not like that at all. Burning. Fire's still burning right there, smoking. Literally no, nothing put around it or anything. Just a fire in the middle of a parking lot. So tell me you're an idiot who spends zero time outdoors. You can tell. The people pulled up in a car, a beer, pizza, and they started a fire in the middle of the parking lot. Intelligent folk. All right, 10 o'clock, guys. And I am just filthy with sand. Ah, the sand is starting to irk me. Um, I just swapped out one of my socks for a less uh, stretched out one that's absolutely disgusting and stinks and it was crusty hard, but... My foot will break it back in. Let me check. Make sure I didn't leave nothing. Just because the stretchiness was irking me. 
these are still stretched out but they're not as bad or this one's not as bad so but i just realized i just completely saturated that other sock with 100 percent deep now this sock doesn't have anything on it so i mean it's still treated with permethrin but it doesn't have that extra punch of the deed on it so just like everything else in life pros and cons all right, 10 after 10, I'm um, right at three miles in already, so that's quite well for me, especially since I stopped and swapped out a sock. It's amazing how small my bag looks, just when my food bag goes down a little bit. Uh, a little road walk here. This is my favorite, man, when it's this uh, compacted sand just the best road walking conditions i would walk the whole trail like this surrounded you know woods on both sides make camping easier you just pop off the road that road will take me right into white springs much more of a direct route but i'm gonna uh where am i going here i feel like i'm in someone's driveway maybe i go back out here on the road I gotta look at my map, but the road will take me right in. I think I'm supposed to turn there or something. I see a marker. I just don't see where you're supposed to go now. Yeah, so that road will take me right into town. It's much more of a direct route, but I'll stay on the trail. I probably regret this decision. All right, 10.45, I am at, it's hot and sticky, man. I'm, so I'm gonna uh, stop, I'm just gonna fill this up about a liter worth, that's it. I got another one full there so I can get, uh, you know, a bottle and a half more, just in case. Cause it's getting hot and sticky and I'm trying to walk with some pace today. Of course, I stepped on a stick, like a thick stick. I stepped on it, it rolled, and man, that jolts your whole body, my old ass. Oh. All right, let's get some fluid. Oh, man. All right, just got a liter of water, and uh, I swallowed them noodles. I was eating the noodles so fast, it got, like, stuck right here. Oh, it hurt. Woo. Uh, stop eating like you're in jail, Chris. I'm just trying to rush for some reason, because I want to get I want to get in town. I'm like, oh, I, need to, I need calories. Calories is energy. That is my favorite type of soup, man. Just uh, a chicken ramen with cheese is just incredible. If there was an extra, if I had a mayo pack in there... Mm. Pickles too, but just a simple cheese. And you can use cheese puffs. It don't have to be squeezed cheese. Just any type of cheese. Oh, shit. I forgot to put my cheese squeeze in a bag. It's probably squirting all over my food bag. Oh, I, I'm not stopping now. It's my first alligator warning. Huh? Where am I going? Did I miss a turn over here? Nice Is that an uh, armadillo carcass? I think. I only have minimum uh, experience with armadillos when I was stationed in Kings Bay, Georgia. Oh, Alright guys, it's 11, uh, 11.50 I think. And uh, I got like a mile and a half left to get to the store. So that means I've gone... I don't even know. A little over six miles. I feel like I am absolutely flying. But I'm sure it's probably just a normal pace. It's just, but for, like, this type of trails, I'm usually, you know, I'm usually right around two miles an hour or something. I feel like I'm absolutely blazing through here. But my watch is dead, so I don't really know. But, I mean, I can feel it. Like, I'm soaked, but it's also hot and sticky out. But I feel like I'm moving fast. All right, 10 after 12, I'm in the park now, but I'm going to, uh, unless I can find the entrance here somewhere, but I'm going to head to the store and then come back. I'm, I'm following the trail right now still, as you can see by that marker up there. At the campground somewhere up there, but I'm guessing it says that the store is like right by the entrance to the park, so I'll get it figured out. All right, so you got to go to the park store to register. All right, uh, campground. 
overnight camping. It's got to be. All right, let me call the number here. Man, they're actually full. Um, anyway, I'm, I got a spot, but uh, it's 12:30 now. I can't check in till three o'clock. There. <laughs> it's just that's kind of ridiculous. But uh, um, tomorrow I'm in one spot, or tonight I'm in one spot, and then tomorrow before one o'clock I have to move out, but I can't go back to my other spot until three o'clock. So I'm hoping I can just, when that other party leaves, I can just move my stuff over there. So, but we'll see how that works out. I couldn't get two nights in a row at the same spot. But anyway, I don't care. I'm uh, going to go down here to the store and stock up. That was at 50 bucks for two nights. I don't know why it was cheaper here, but it's $50 for two nights. Well, it looks like the store's even closer here. Here's the state park, and the store is right around the bend right there. Whew. It's all right. I'll just tell me. I'm going to grab a bunch of crap, and I'm going to go over here and sit right at that uh, the ranger office that's closed and just get power for a couple of hours. I right, had a slice of Hunt Brothers pizza. Uh, stocked up my things. It was actually... They did not have the chew I like here, of course. But look at this. You guys don't know nothing about this whole shebang. Unless you've been locked up, then you know. But, uh, Got a couple Red Bulls and some snacks for tonight. I'm going to drink one of them Red Bulls now. I'm going to have to get out of my campground tomorrow and walk around and get wet anyway, so... I actually kind of defeat the purpose. I should just... Uh, I don't know. We'll see. I might just leave there. Camp somewhere else. Probably not. Uh, I, I mean, it doesn't matter. It was twenty-five dollars <laughs> each night, so really, like, what's no big deal. But yeah, anyway, I'm just killing time because I can't go get my set up my tent yet. So, so this says registration located at park store. Passes after four thirty or here, but this sign says if your pass is not here, your site's not ready. Check up, check back closer to check-in time. Anyway, uh, uh, I don't know. It says grab a map also. There's no maps here. I don't even know where the campground's at. So it's actually a pretty big park. Um, anyway, I'm just going to find an outlet, I think, here and sit down and charge my phone. Guys, so I'm sitting here drinking a White Claw, prepping my dinner. I just happened to look over. and Can you see this hole in my uh, pouch? Yeah, right there. You can see right there. It's right where the seam's at. I'm trying to find it on my phone for you to go. Yeah, brand new pouch. I'm telling you, Hyperlite is not the same since they moved or whatever they did. They opened up a, 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 f a manufacturing plant in Mexico. It's just not the same. My old Hyperlite stuff that I hiked across America with, that would never have happened to. There's already holes in my uh, fanny pack. It's just not the same. Now, I don't want to exaggerate because that's a scene but still I mean that's I mean these things are brand new literally I have 400 miles on them and I literally split right at the seam let's not you know the other ones that were sitting in my tent so behind multiple layers of Dyneema and it was a puddle of water in it when it rained I think I'm going to go to Z-Packs and try their stuff out at least if I'm going to pay these high top top of the line prices for uh, Dyneema, I should get gear made in America. I mean, it just, to me, it makes sense. So I'm going to try Z-Packs for all my gear next time. Well, I don't know. It might be hard to get away from my pack, but these bugs are nuts, and the store had no bug repellent. And I asked him, I said, you have a big Florida Trail sign on your door saying you're a Florida Trail associate. You're right next to a state park, and you don't have bug, you don't have bug spray here? You know, I, I'm not going to tell you what he said, but no. Anyway. Yeah, I'm on my fourth one of these. You can probably tell. <laughs> we're tonight for dinner. We're gonna make shebang balls. So there we go. But I'm a little. Up, I'm not upset. But I mean, that's ridiculous. That's a brand new. I mean, right at the seam. All right, I dug out one of my uh, Gear Aid Tenacious Tape patches. Probably don't need this. Obviously, it's a little overkill for for that for that little hole. But it'll work out. I actually carry quite a bit of Tenacious Tape cut up in the pieces, and then I got these preformed patches also. I, you know me, I'm, always, I'm overkill with most of the crap, but let's throw this patch on here in a second, I'll show you. Alright, so 450 miles or so in, I got a patch on that. 
which is this is definitely overkill because it's just that it's just a food bag and I also have a patch on my tent which you guys should know about which is right uh see right here it's hard to see because it's the clear one but it's on the inside but it's right there now that's actually quite ridiculous that I had to put one on my tent already but this is really no big deal but you can actually see where it just it came undone at the scene all right guys I was trying to do some big fancy cooking video tonight make a big potato ball didn't work out but I made it too wet so basically I, just, I still have dinner I just in a chip bag it's awesome The beef stick, cheese stick, add the texture. The whole shebang chip makes everything incredible. Look at that extra leaf right there. That's protein. Ah. All right. It wasn't good because it touched my fingers and I have deed on my fingers. That's all. I would have ate it otherwise. I'm good. The best white claw there is, the blackberry. off until about five minutes ago I got one power block full one still isn't full and it's been going for what I don't even know over 12 hours that USB takes forever and then I plugged a fresh one in also so I don't wait I got I got three of them in there right now charging I think I forget 9.30, I just had a puddle down here. Not drastic, but I cleaned it up. So I'm just trying to figure out where that's coming from because that's probably how my stuff got flooded last last time. I mean, it could be a hole in the ground. I don't use a ground sheet. I just need to find out where it's coming from so I can patch it. And my mat is just uh, lasting less and less time in between blow-ups now. But it's getting me by. So... You shut up. I don't want to jinx it because it's... No. Yeah, so no matter what, I keep getting water right here. You know how well it's coming up. And that's enough to create a puddle, but I'm staying on top of that. And I'm getting water over here in the corner. That's just... It's not a ton, but it's enough to get... Well, I mean, it's really not bad when you're on a mat, obviously, and you don't have nothing. It's not a big deal, but... Like, what the F, man? And if you look, the seam tape, but it's coming up like it's not sticking on the, both ends here. See that coming up? That can't be good. But that's not where it's coming from, and both sides are like that. I just think it's all about what drips down and all this extra stuff coming out. It just pits a seam and comes, I don't know. I don't know where to, I'm going to put some extra tape here, here, and somewhere around here. See if that fixes anything, but I can't do it now. It's wet, so looks like the rain's gonna taper off here in a little bit, and then uh, we're gonna get a couple hour of reprieve, and then the storms are gonna roll back in heavy tonight. Yeah, I asked the neighbors. Literally, there was nobody here last night, so I literally could have just set up here last night and been fine. And now I'm having a, so much. These are I've bent the shit out of this now. This is so bent and this is barely in. I just can't find a spot to get it in. The rest of them I forced into my hand until I can step on them in, which I'm probably bending them all. I just, I'm getting frustrated with this tent. It's just, maybe it's time to just say fuck it and go to a freestanding tent where I literally just go doop 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 and I'm done. I mean, it's, it's just fucking getting ridiculous. Free, and it's not even now I look at it. It's, I'm going to be on a slant right here. And I'm still going to get water inside of here because, well, I mean, I'm why you're supposed to, right? Now, like I said, it's not a lot, but I shouldn't even have a fucking drop coming in here. The tent's got 500 miles on it. And it's not from setting it up wrong. It's leaking in off of seams and shit. I've been setting it up, like, legit, spending a lot of time on it. Like, I mean, you can see the angles, even though I'm having trouble right now. The angles are, are about perfect. Well, I got to add a set of new stakes to my ever-growing gear list. So now I'm at 200 for a mat, 200 for shoes. You know, it's going to be, what, 50 for stakes? And I, not only do I got to order them, but I got to 
spend the money for overnight shipping or at least two day shipping. So I basically add 35 to 50 dollars to every single order. Because if not, then I'm just, you know, I'm staying in a hotel longer. So it's just, I mean, I bent, I know two of my steaks are just bent to shit. So if I don't replace them, I actually have steaks sitting in California. I can ask him to send them out. But then, you know, I got to ask someone to do stuff. So I might as well just spend the money and keep the extra steaks. <sighs> Extremely frustrated today. Extremely frustrated today. I, I'm going to have to, I want a Dyneema freestanding tent is what I want. That's what I'm going to get. So maybe like the uh, Big Agnes, uh, Tiger, whatever. I think they make a Dyneema one that's always sold out. But Alright guys, it's uh, 1 a.m. on Thursday, March 28th. Just been uh, fighting the uh, water issues in here. It's been pouring since midnight. And it's going to continue pouring, it looks like. I just slowed down now, of course, so I made a video, but it's it, all my water issues are coming in these corners here. That's what I just figured out. It's this is a flawed design because it's got everything's coming down here, and then everything leaks down and it just piles up in the corner on both sides. So it'll creep up into here, then drip down the air, and then fall, work its way down. And it's happening in all four corners like that. Up here, I have my scarf picking up that, and I have my hat picking up that corner. It's much worse up here. I mean, it's still not bad overall. I would be fine even on a uh, roll-out flat mat. Ooh. So I'm not really worried about it. I mean, it's only... I'm not worried about it at all. It's just frustrating. But it's only just on top of it. All right, 2.30 in the morning. Finally, it's just stopped raining. I'm dealing with... Uh, I don't know how well that's coming up here, but I'm dealing with heavy flooding. Maybe this will help show you what kind of flooding I'm dealing with. This is... I got this in the corner. Yeah. Yay, tarp tent. Alright guys, 9 a.m. Thursday, March 28th. I ended up getting a fall back asleep for like an hour. Which is fine, I didn't mind being up because I actually slept yesterday afternoon. But everything is soaked. I mean, I'm soaked. <laughs> I might as well have not had a tent basically by the end of it. From all the condensation and drippage from the actual tent itself to the puddles so I just took everything out threw it on the soaking wet ground packed up and got out of there um, go up here to the gas station grab a Red Bull a couple odds and ends and then I hit the road I gotta obviously drive my gear out that's it I don't know how many miles probably we're not doing much today <laughs> well we got a change of plans just like that it's funny because I was like, oh, let me check back in my bank at 9 a.m. For some reason, sometimes it hits at 9 a.m. my time, which is 6 a.m. out west where Wells Fargo is at. Anyway, I got paid. <laughs> Damn, I should have. I knew it. Yesterday I was thinking, I was like, man, I, sh I don't know how I got paid today. It's always two days before everyone else gets paid. So today's Thursday. They're going to pay everyone else Saturday? No. I don't care. I got money. Now I can get a room. But do I just suck it up today and hike or... I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna hike all the way into town today. First of all, let me see how far it is. Alright, well, I got a room booked. I'm staying at the uh, Quality Inn, which is like my go to, the Choice Hotels, because, you know, even though it was still $92 a night, but everything's so expensive in Lake City, so it's one of them. Because I was gonna go to a Holiday Inn Express and treat myself, but they want $155 a night. So, I'm gonna take a nice little vacation now i'm gonna make sure i'm completely checked in before i order any of my gear so just in case something happens and i actually can't get in there i don't want to risk it i'm walking on the side of the street when there's actually a sidewalk here it's not, i'm not the brightest but yeah so this hotel though is 16 miles away so much further than, well, not much further, right? I forget what the other one was. 12, 14? Anyway, it's a nice little jaunt. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to hit the gas station up. I'm going to walk for a couple hours, see how I feel. At least earn it. Uh, but I might end up calling an Uber, like, as I'm working my way there. I don't know. We'll see if I can even get one. If not, I'm going to be in for a 16-mile day today. I didn't even realize I was actually on the Florida Trail itself right now. <laughs> I just passed a, uh, a social club. 
right across the street from a school that's completely gated up with beware of dog signs. White, White Springs is a strange neighborhood. Social club, there was like 10 people out front already drinking and doing some other stuff, I'm assuming. Social club in the middle of this little, it's very strange. I mean, this is almost, this is like a, is that a gas station right there? Oh man, why did I go all the way up to the other one? Yeah, there's floor, I'm literally walking the Florida Trail right now. Everyone, all the older timers are so polite down here. Though. You get away from everyone and a good morning. Yeah, everything's flooded around here. I wonder how the river's doing. There was a flood watch warning on my phone. I don't think we got that much. I mean, they said we could have got up to two inches of, of rain, but it didn't feel like that much. Although... DG Market? What the heck's that? Is that like a Walmart market? I don't think I've ever seen a Dollar General Market. It's pretty large, too. Anyway, see, I mean, it's not a... That trail would have been an absolute shit show today. So, it's, I'm quite happy with this. Alright, it's like 20 after 12, or no, I'm sorry, 10 after 12. Um, I'm going to hit like a service plaza coming up in about 3 miles. I think once I hit that, I'm going to see if I can get an Uber. I'm done. Because that's still going to be. I'm going to hike around. Well, shoot, that's going to be close to nine miles, I think. Nine, ten, maybe. I'll see when I get there. But uh, one of my buddies from Philly to follow me on Instagram. Uh, message tarp tent. And they're like, yo, well, he's uh, using your tent. It's leaking. Can you help him out? And tarp tent responded. He needs to contact us, and he hasn't. Which is kind of crazy, because I tagged them in my post, and they've seen it. So, uh, but I'm, I'm taught what they're going to do. They're going to offer to bring it in and fix it. Like, they, they let, that's not, that doesn't help you. So every time I buy a brand new tent, I got to, you know, oh. Yeah, I mean, they should do that, obviously. And I'll probably send it in at the end of my hike, but... It's ridiculous. So that's three tents in a row. I mean, I think about this now. At least my first tent didn't leak. But it had a major failure. Uh, probably right around 500 miles in with the first zipper. And then a, a complete failure on the vestibule zipper. Which basically made the tent worthless. Because you couldn't close the front. And the zipper came unraveled. Second tent literally had three dozen flaws right out of the box. Holes, complete missing seam tape, everything. You guys, if you follow my PNT hike, literally the first night I was in it, I was screaming. It was leaking everywhere. And it wouldn't even keep bugs out. You know, and they offered to fix that. But, you know, I'm out on a through hike, so I'm going to send it in and then wait to get it back. No. And then this one, you know, I was giving it the benefit of the doubt that every time something happened, it was maybe it was me setting it up. But I, I sat there and watched the water last night and watched it just leak in through the seams. That's not me. That's them. That's a def, uh, def, the design flaw or something. Or quality control is crap. Like I said, I'm a little angry still. You pay this premium money, which I have no problem doing. I'll eat ramen for two weeks out of the month to buy a better piece of gear. But it's got to be worth it. All right, Uber will be here in uh, 10 minutes or so. Um, and there also is a Walmart near there too. So it should be within a couple miles, it looks like. Maybe a mile and a half too. So that's a plus. So I'll be good to go. I probably won't go today, honestly. I'm probably just going to go in the room and lay down and just go to Walmart tomorrow all filthy. But I'll get it figured out. Hopefully I can get check in. It's almost 1 o'clock right now. I'm beat. I did eight miles. It's a big day. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to end. Uh, you'll see this in the video, but I'm going to have to delete some footage. Uh, Quality is not going to have a good enough Wi-Fi. I already know that, so it's going to be a pain. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to get some videos out. I'll show you guys the room. And then that'll be it. My phone right now is at 96% full. <sighs> so I put this to the max. But, you know, there's what? Three weeks of footage on here. So that's a lot. All right, I hopped out like a half mile, mile early. I always do that because I, I want to hit stores before I go in. 
Look, I'm surrounded by fast food. I see pan. First of all, I'm even not quite sure where the hotel is at. I think it's across the street to the right. I see a Dairy Queen. I see a Moe's. I see a Panda Express, which I'm excited. Right now, I need a. Let me see how far Walmart is from here. Oh yeah, Waffle House. But more importantly, I see a Five Guys, which is highly overrated in my opinion. I would much rather any day of the week have an in and out for a half the price too. But I'll still get it. I see a Dairy Queen. I see an Olive Garden. Everything is right here. So McDonald's, Wendy's, Arby's. Anyway, I just want a gas station or something. Chick-fil-A. That's you know I'm going to eat there every day. I think I'm down here. There's a gas station. I could really use a Dollar General, but there's not one around here. All right, so my first meals are going to be Crackle Barrel, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, and Panda Express. No particular order. Yes, I know I'm a fat slob. Huh? All right, gas station. I grabbed a couple Red Bulls. And I actually paid big money for just a big thing of body wash and a thing of deodorant just because I need to get clean properly. Um, I just got steak and shake, which I haven't had since I think I was stationed in Georgia's last time I had it, so 1998 or so. Anyway, there's my hotel down there. Uh, let's hopefully this goes without issue. So I just want to get in and lay down. I won't even shower right away. All right. Room check. I try to do this for you guys every time. It ended up being $92 a night averaged out, which is pricey for a comfort inn. Usually I can get it between $75 and $85, but everything in Lake City is up there. So I got a non-smoking uh, king-size bed, of course, because I'm a king-size dude. But she was very nice to come down and got me in. I'm not going to tell you how long I'm going to be here because it's going to change 16 more times. <laughs> but I actually... I jumped in and took a nice, like, stay right off the rip, so. Oh, yeah, bathroom. Wow. Oh, I hate when the lights are outside of it. No soap or nothing? That's not good. Oh, yeah, right there. I forgot they do that. It smells like bleach. Soap there. I'll show you what I got. I did get soap, though. I bought that deodorant. And then this is all they had there, like, size-wise. So I got this body wash anyway it's enough i'm gonna start pumping out the videos i think i probably got enough to put four maybe five videos out look at this tan line holy moly is it coming up on the phone that's crazy <sighs> all right i'm out mm, mm, mm. stick shake time stick shake time